Hey folks, it's Ben Capozzi, the Main Street Gardener, and uh, we're working against the uh, setting sun here, so I think this is the last tree I'm going to get in the ground today, but it's actually a transplant of a uh, red Rome or Rome Beauty apple. So let me show you what we're doing. So this is the hole that uh, I already dug the red Rome apple out of. Uh, it, along with the Wolf River apple that I had, arrived uh, earlier this year, uh, either late spring or uh, early summer, I can't remember when, but... It was when I wasn't quite ready, I hadn't quite figured out where I was going to put it, which by the way is always a bad idea. Don't order a plant unless you know where it's going to go. I say that in retrospect, having done it myself many, many times, but as a general rule, don't do that. But anyhow, so I've dug it up, no problem. It hasn't been in the ground very long, but it's still got a great uh, root system that uh, it came with and that it's con uh, built up a little bit more, contributed while it was here. So I'm going to take this, and actually I'm going to take it in this orientation. And bring it right over here and show you the hole I've already dug for it. It's gonna go right in here. What's all that powder? That is um, corn uh, meal gluten that uh, I've already put in the hole. That's a thing that uh, Howard Gardner recommends, uh, planting around, uh, spreading around your fruit trees to um, feed beneficial bacteria and um, do some, I think it's a, a mild fungicide, uh, the good kind of fungicide, and it also feeds beneficial bacteria. So anyhow, but this is the hole. I'm going to backfill this now. And the thing I was talking about, this spot right here, this is kind of important. So you know that uh, very few apple trees are true to seed. That is, if you plant gala apple seeds, you're not going to get gala apples. You're going to get um, whatever its parentage was, which is often difficult to know. And in some cases, it's not going to be anything like the apple that it came from. But uh, so for that reason, all varieties of apple that you've probably ever tried have been grown on... Uh, a rootstock. So they take a scion, which is um, wood from an existing good tree, and they graft it onto a uh, rootstock. And so this is the rootstock here. This is probably a non-tasty variety of apple. And they bud grafted it, which is a technique I hope to try myself next summer. But um, they bud grafted it. And so this right here, where the graft union took place, uh, can be damaged by exposure to the sun. So uh, Stefan Sobkoviak, uh, always says that you should always plant those facing north. So here in my yard, that's north. So I've got it in the correct orientation. Let me plant this thing up because I am racing against the light and I've only got one hand. So I'll be right back. All right, so this tree is in the ground. I, uh, I didn't stamp the, uh, the dirt back in. I just kind of packed it lightly with my hand. If you stamp it down, you run the risk of um, crushing and breaking roots. And uh, there's no need for that. So anyhow, I uh, got this all set, it's in the ground the right way, add a little more corn gluten to the top. No need to stake this tree, it's already pretty darn straight. I will take some scion wood off of it later this uh, winter. Probably take that one and that one. I don't know if that's enough to work with or not, but I'm definitely going to take that. But anyhow, so this tree is good and uh, I probably won't fiddle with it again for another month or so. So that's me planting uh, or replanting my Red Rome Beauty Apple.